So we're going to solve some linear equations today. We're going to start with the one that says 5x plus 8 equals 38. I'm going to use the word opposite, but we can also use the word math like inverse. So I like to get rid of the stuff that's on the same side of the letter, but not touching the letter first for 5x plus 8 equals 38. So the opposite of a positive 8 is a negative 8. So we're going to subtract 8 on both sides. That would give us 5x equals 30. Now note that 5x is the same thing as 5 times x, but we're typically not going to write that multiplication sign. So next we're going to divide both sides by 5, and that would give us x equals 6 as our answer. Now for all these, we probably should check our answer, but because of time, I will not check all of them. We're going to do the one all the way to the left next. It's negative x minus 4 equals 9. Note this is the same thing as writing negative 1x minus 4 equals 9. So we need to, get, need to get rid of the stuff that's on the same side of the letter by not touching it. The opposite of a negative 4 is a positive 4, so I'm going to add 4 to both sides. That gives us negative 1x equals 13. And then, of course, the opposite of multiplying a number by ne uh, negative 1 is to divide it by negative 1. So we divide both sides by negative 1, and we get x equals negative 13 for our answer. This next one, we have negative 22 equals 5 plus 3x. Now, we could, we could... Flip this around and say, okay, 5 plus 3x equals negative 22. Some students like to do that because they like the letter on the left side. I get it. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to solve it just like it is. So we have we got to get rid of the stuff that's on the same side of the letter, but not touching it. That's that 5. That 5 is positive. It's a positive number. So the opposite of a positive number is a negative number. So we're going to subtract 5 on both sides. Negative 22 minus 5 is negative 27. That's going to equal 3x. 3 times x, and the opposite of multiplying something by uh, 3 is to divide it by 3. And this time, this one time here, I'm going to use the obvious symbol to show that I'm dividing by 3. And when we do that, we're going to get negative 9 equals x. Bottom left one, we have a fraction, y over 2, minus 3 equals 2. So the stuff that's on the same side of the letter, but not touching it, is that negative 3. I'm going to add 3 to both sides. That gives me y over 2 equals 5. The opposite of division is multiplication. We're going to multiply both sides by 2. That's going to give us 10 as our answer. And in this case, I am going to check the work. And we should be doing that for all of them. But we put 10 to the original equation, and we want to make sure that it's equal on both sides. So 10 over 2 minus 3 better equal 2. I'll put a little question mark there. Does it equal 2? Well, 10 divided by 2, order of operations, we do the fraction first, the division first. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 5 minus 3, does that equal 2? Well, of course it does. 5 minus 3 is 2. So 2 equals 2. And we get the informal but awesome smiley face. Last one on here, k minus 6. All over 2 equals 11. And this is the same thing as if I wrote k minus 6 in parentheses divided by 2 equals 11. I like the fraction more. But we're going to multiply both sides by 2 first to get rid of the fraction. So multiply both sides by 2. And that's going to give me k minus 6 equals 22. The opposite of subtracting 6 is adding 6. And that's going to give us k equals 28. And again, if we wanted to, we could check that to make sure we got the same value on both sides. I think I will do that. So we'll put 28 in here. Make sure that it is true. So it does. 28 minus 6 over 2. Does that equal 11? And this is really a great check to always do, especially on a test or quiz, because it's very easy, especially working with uh, negative numbers, to make a, some kind of simple mistake. 28 minus 6 is 22. And 22 divided by 2 is 11. So we do give it a smiley face. If you have any kind of questions, please don't hesitate to ask your math teacher.